Hey everybody, welcome to today's vlog on Matt's Rad Show. We're in Brooklyn Park, Minnesota at Wagner's Drive-In. Kind of a historic drive-in. There's not very many of these left in the country. This one has been here since I believe the 1970s. Owned by the same family, the Wagners. Well, I mean started by the Wagners. I'm not sure actually who owns it right now. If you know, leave a comment below, but I'm gonna try their food today. Check it out. It's a cool spot. It's, uh, you just don't see these. And uh, it kinda, kinda reminds me of Top Notch Burgers in Austin, Texas, where they filmed Dazed and Confused. So I'm excited about uh, checking this place out. So join me today, guys. Let's do it. Let's get some grub. Looks like there's even a bus stop. You could take the bus to good old Wagner's. I hear they have a pretty good uh, catering service too. Well, let's take a, a little walk around here. Ice cream, sodas, hot dogs, fries and shakes. All the good old fashioned good stuff. This is cool. I like the roof. It's actually a pretty low, low hanging roof. I like it adds to the flavor of the place. This is actually kind of the, the back side of it. It's surrounded by street. Got a street there as that car drives by. Kind of sits here on an angle. There's train tracks right here. I don't think the train stopped for Wagner's. And there's a big highway right there. So you can't get to it from the highway though. You gotta get off the highway and get on the side streets here. But uh, pretty cool location. Been here since the 70s, like I said. Looks like from the signs you can get burgers, ice cream, sodas, hot dogs, fries, shakes, chicken soup, and onion rings. Open year round. It appears the water has infiltrated some of their signs here. Maybe I get a better one underneath the, the cover over there. It's a pretty decent menu here. Let's check out the menu. The cheeseburgers, of course, gourmet burgers. Decent prices, I like it. Flip the switch to order. These places are really fun. I'm actually just standing out here. I'm not in my car, but hot sandwiches. They got a pretty decent looking menu here. All kinds of good stuff on here. A lot of side options. And we've got chili dogs too. Looks good, man. Looks real good. Smoothies and sundaes. It's kind of cool. You just hit the switch. Hit the switch to order. Okay, let's head in. Check this place out here from the inside anyway. Yeah. Cool. Pretty simple setup on the inside here. Looks like they do some car shows here. That looks awesome. Looks like this was the founder, Edward F. Wagner. Passed away in 2005. Cool that his place is still running and looks like it's doing pretty good. Technically we could, but we're not going to. We're gonna get back in the car. We're gonna go park underneath the awning over here. We're gonna do this the right way, the drive-in way. switch here. I don't know if this one works. Hello? Hello? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, no luck ordering off of the menu thing here. The 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 switch that I hit notifies them on the inside to come out here and take my order. Uh, the waitress didn't want to be on camera though uh, to take my order. She doesn't want to be on the camera. 
Um, so that basically their their little boxes to order don't work anymore. Apparently they said somebody broke in and knocked out their system somehow. Kind of messed up their whole their whole system apparently. So that's kind of a bummer. So they you can no longer order at Wagner's from sitting in the car. I mean you can, you come out here, you hit the switch, they come out and take your order. Um, so you can do it that way, but the, so but their system doesn't work. Their paging system kind of a thing. But anyways, I ordered the mushroom Swiss burger, some fries, Coke, and a milkshake. So that should tie me over. So we'll, we'll, we'll uh, check the food out and we'll see how she goes. did, however, request a tray, so hopefully this can happen. I'm sure the food is just fine. Uh, 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 new car, I'll take it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, kids. Oh, kids. Mm -hmm. Waitress. No, I don't want that to happen. It'd be kind of funny if it did. Alrighty. Is that enough? Thank you. Should I go? Yep. Get in there. Thank you. Right. And then thirteen ninety five. Just sign up for that one up. Okay. Here we are, folks. We got our food. Looking pretty good there. Never had that before. That's a new one for me. Never done that. It's pretty cool. My first French fry off of my windshield. Mmm, those are good. I like the crinkle cut fries. They're very crisp. Crispier than most fries I've had. Soft in the middle, very crispy on the outside. Num, 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 num. Mm -hmm. Those are good fries. Yeah, those, those are real good fries. Num, 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 very good aftertaste, too. This is fun. I've never done it before. Why have I never done this before? I've always gone into places, but you know, one could eat a place like this very often. Real old fashioned drive in. The mushroom Swiss burger. Ooh, that looks tasty. They bring in the ketchup and mustard on the tray. Look at that. Gratuitous shot. Whoa. There she is, guys. And the mushroom and Swiss. <laughs> you guys getting hungry yet? Oh, look at that. Steamy. Uh oh. Cops are after me. A little ketchup and mustard on this bad boy. I wonder what you do with the tray when you're all done. I guess you just call them out again and say I'm done. I'm pretty sure you're not just supposed to just throw it on the ground, right? What's the what's the appropriate thing to do with this tray when you're done? It doesn't look like I can leave it on the sign. Uh. Uh. All right, I got my food all set up here. I'm gonna enjoy some food. Time to try my mushroom Swiss burger. Let's check this out. That's a good burger. That is a fresh patty. Well, you can tell the difference between a, uh, a frozen patty and a fresh patty. And they say that they hand make the patties every day here. It appears that they do. That's really good. Mmm. Yeah. Better than your standard, um, you know, fast food restaurant, I would say. That burger. Good. Mm -hmm. I am enjoying this food. It kind of makes me sad that the state of this place is actually not in very good shape. It's kind of getting beat up. You know, the, the asphalt is kind of cracked and beat up. Um, needs a new coat of paint on everything. Unfortunately, the way you order doesn't work anymore. <clears throat> it just feels like the place is starting to fall apart. So I'm glad I got out here before, you know, who knows what, what's gonna happen to this place. What's encouraging about this place is the food. It's actually really good food. It's amazing food. It's like really good. Some of the, the best kind of fast food I've had, honestly, it's really good. I would hope that a place like this will be able to put a new coat of paint on it, maybe freshen up the, the sidewalk, who knows. It's very encouraging that the food is so good, which is probably why this place is still surviving today, because the food is really good. So if you have a chance, come out to, to Brooklyn Park and um, check out Wagner's Drive-In. It's definitely worth it. Just know that you might have to 
wait a little while for the waitress to come out if you're going to sit your car in order. But you can always go in. They've got a you can go in and, and order inside. Of course, they got a counter inside. And uh, yeah, very nice people. Good food. Come support Wagner. I don't want places like this to die out. They just don't have them anymore. And so we need to support places like this. Drive-ins, anything that's not a chain restaurant. The chain restaurants, in my opinion, though they, they're nice, they have good food. I enjoy the chains just as much as anybody else. But there's something about a place like this that was started by somebody who lived in the area. You know, the unique places. So if I ever have a chance to support a unique place, an individual place, an independent place, rather than a big chain, I always like to support the independent places. But, but I hope there will be a, uh, a resurgence of independent places like this. Fun places, creative places to make uh, our country fun again. Instead of always going to McDonald's, always going to Walmart. I don't know. I don't know if this will make it into the vlog or not. I'm just talking. Something talking about while I eat my food. <laughs> Here's a little history of the place. It started over 35 years ago. Ed and Annalise Wagner in St. Louis Park, Minnesota. With the help of their children, we're at the one in Brooklyn Park, the second one that expanded to. Uh, excellent food. Looks like the sun is continuing these, making all everything from scratch there. Looking good, started in the early 70s. Car salesmen, businesses. Looks like they started doing some catering kind of stuff. Yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool little history there. So we'll have to come back for the Wagniters Car Club every Monday night around five or six o'clock. Car clubs come out, they park out in front, enjoy some good fellowship from the car car clubs and some good food, hang out at the drive-in. You'll have to check that out. Look at this old 80s Bronco. We had a Bronco like that when I was growing up. It was 1985 black Ford Bronco, just like that. I don't know if that's an 85 or not, but. I remember those old Broncos, man. That's cool. Looks like the dust moths are getting to this one, but still pretty cool to see one. Place is starting to get a little business here now. Good to see. Good to see. We've got a few folks parked out outside out here by the picnic table benches. Picnic table benches, otherwise known as picnic tables. Okay, that's all there is for today's vlog at Matt's Rad Vlog here at uh, Wagner's Drive-In, Brooklyn Park. So uh, if you ever get a chance to come on out here, bring your cars out on Monday nights. It sounds like they have a little bit of a car show here every Monday night. Car clubs come and check it out. So yeah, a cool spot. Good food too. It's definitely worth the. Uh, the food is good. If the food wasn't good, I'd tell you. Um, but the food was good, at least in the mushroom swiss burger and the malt was really good. Fresh strawberries in that thing, so it's good stuff. So glad to see that uh, this place has good food, so I can recommend it. And uh, I hope you do come out and support it, because it uh, looks like they could use a new coat of paint on some stuff out here. So, <laughs> come check it out, support Wagners, guys. That's all I got for today's vlog. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, share this video. Uh, hit the notifications button, too, so you're always notified when I upload a new video. More stuff coming down the pipeline. I'm going to travel on down the road, and we'll talk to you later. Check you later. Check you later. Okay, bye.